Sunday the 24th of September and uh, it's mid to late afternoon and we've only just had our lunch but it was good wasn't that it? That was very nice. Twas the duck, one of our own. Oh. <laughs> they're not ducks, they're seagulls, yeah we've seen the other. Um, yes, one of our homegrown, home reared, home raised, home butchered, Yeah. home mm. eaten, everything from start to finish. Never mind food miles, it's food yards. It is, isn't it? Yeah. There probably has had a couple of miles in your total, actually, it's probably not more than that with the amount of running around they do. Yeah, but, yeah, from, from... Hatch to dispatch. Yeah, all home done. So, uh, so that was very lovely with um, homegrown beans and... Uh, homemade coleslaw. Homemade, but not homegrown. Well, only, only the yeah. carrots. So, Anyway, it was all good, and, uh, and we just realised that actually, if we don't, if we don't do a vlog today, uh, everyone's going to be wondering why. Well, not everybody. My regular viewers are going to be wondering why. You won't be wondering why. And what you mean, love, is if if you didn't do a vlog today, I don't have this royal we. That's what the cat does. Um, if you didn't do a vlog today, you'll. You know, you would be wondering why. So today we have, well, this morning I went out and laid some plastic over some of the uh, beds in the in the vegetable garden that have got weeds on them, and these are the beds that I didn't quite get round to weeding this year at all. Uh, and I've made a promise to myself that I'm not going to get to the end of next year and still not have weeded them. So uh, they're covered over with um, weed suppressing membrane which will let the water through uh, but stop them growing and hopefully uh, by spring when I want to use the beds again uh, all the weeds will have died back and obviously all the seeds will be there and they'll spring up again but I can tackle them as they arrive. Uh, so we've done that and, and then gone all around the edges with wood chippings which is what you were helping with this yeah. afternoon. After a quick trip to the local town for the few bits we can't grow locally. Yeah. Like crisps. Like sugar. <laughs> milk. Yeah. And milk. Yes. There is there is a local dairy mm. or not too far away. And they do deliver. But I don't want them to have to drive four or five miles to deliver us a pint of milk and then drive back again because that's really doesn't make any sense so until they've got several customers in this area uh, we're not having deliveries but as soon as they have got several customers I'm hoping they will let me know and uh, <laughs> I hope they remember to tell us <laughs> and uh, and then we can have our milk delivered too yeah It'd be good wouldn't it mm. if they do other products of a similar nature that would be nice as well I think they do I think they do cream and I think they do cheese and butter and well, they must do butter if... Well, Not necessarily. Well, no, but we could do butter. Uh -huh. So as well as doing your um, veg beds that were weedy, you were also covering a couple that had things growing in them this year. Yes. So is that to prepare them for a fallow period over winter? Yeah, it's so that... Uh, it's so that... Uh, I covered the bed that had the bolotti beans in it that I uh, just bent the bolotti bean stems down took all the leaves off put those on the floor bent the stems down put those on the floor and then covered it in uh, muckings out from the duck house duck muck duck muck uh, that's a trademark by the way you can't use it uh, is it? it is now <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'd say I've covered that over as well so that no weeds will grow on it before spring uh, and we don't have the same <laughs> same problem that we had uh, this spring where 
beds, empty beds had got just covered in weeds and I never got around to clearing them. Now we're late yesterday afternoon, I forgot, in fact early yesterday evening, um, Eric the bees came round to check on uh, on the hive that he's got uh, on our homestead. So the, the bees that are uh, in the field behind the uh, Elvis's space, uh, they're not actually ours, they belong to Eric, but uh, we call them our bees because they're here and, uh, and we're providing uh, lots of food for them uh, in the form of uh, flowers, as you can see behind me, um, and flowers on the vegetables and things. So anyway, he came to check that they were all okay and they are all absolutely fine, which is brilliant. And I don't know, a, a while back, two or three months ago now, um, Eric asked me if I could hatch a few chicks for him. Uh, he had some eggs and uh, sadly the, the chickens that had laid the eggs had all got caught by a fox. Uh, so he was hoping that, uh, that the eggs would be fertile and he might, uh, he might have some chicks. But the eggs had been sitting around in his kitchen for a week or so uh, since they were laid and uh, so he wasn't holding out a very much hope but he brought a dozen eggs over and lo and behold uh, eight chicks eight chicks hatched so he came and collected those when they were oh you know 48 hours old anyway he was delighted and he said how he wanted to pay me and i said no he wasn't to do that but it would be lovely if we could have uh, a little bit of honey uh, on a comb because i really like honey on the comb so anyway, he turned up yesterday with uh, a one pound jar of honey, lovely. But he also turned up with a complete frame of uh, honey on the comb. And uh, so this morning I spent a bit of time, oh, it was fantastic, uh, cutting the, the comb away from the frame and, uh, and saving the, the honey in its comb. And uh, so that's now stored away in the fridge, but oh, it's a huge amount of honey. I'm very, very, I feel very chuffed. And uh, so, how nice was that? Now, I've just noticed in the background there is one of the cats, and I think. It's Tabitha. So, I'm jolly pleased to have got uh, the first of the weedy beds covered up and. Uh, the first of the uh, beds that we've been growing in this year that are just prepared for for next year now and it's uh, it just feels nice to know that uh, next year uh, we're not going to have uh, beds that are uh, not used because they're full of weeds it was a mere morning nah. uh, weather wise but uh, then it got really warm this afternoon and, uh, and now it's just done that thing where the sun's gone in and it's really cloudy, but it's really sweaty now. Humid, sorry, it's really humid now. <laughs> and some of us are, one of us is getting <laughs> quite sweaty. <laughs> are you perspiring, my pet? I am. And so today's harvest is very simple. I'm just going to uh, take this, <laughs> it's a lovely big uh, jumbo pink banana squash and uh, and uh, and also a squash from the far end of the garden. Um, oh, I haven't quite caught that enough. There we go. Oh, that's a, a good size. I'm going to take it in and weigh that. And then down at the uh, opposite end of the garden, uh, at the far end of the garden, uh, I'm going to take the uh, spaghetti squash uh, that we looked at the other day, the day before yesterday, and, uh, and take that in and get that ripened and, uh, and stored away. Oh, 
Well, it's looking pretty good. Now I have also uh, picked quite a lot of raspberries today, but uh, they may have all been consumed already <laughs> and none of them have been stored. Uh, so Mr J and I have both had some fresh raspberries, which oh, I just love raspberries, I really do. Uh, so, so they were great and uh, and now it's, uh, it's time for me to head indoors. <laughs> and so, wherever you are in the world, whatever you've been doing, hope it's been a good one. And I also hope you can join her again tomorrow. <laughs>